Okay, so this is Brian. Say hello, hello. Brian. Hello. Uh, Brian's one of our brilliant volunteers that have got this thing going, the PDP-11. Beautiful system. Um, obviously, it's still very much uh, sort of an ongoing process at the minute, um, but I thought I'd just give you a quick look and see what's going on. So, um, so Brian, let's uh, let's get this thing powered up. Okay. Should we um, so get, get we the got, um, terminal powered on? Yeah, so we'll switch on this. This is a, a VT220, what we call these days a, a dumb terminal because there's no um, processing actually within it. Um, back in the day, you would connect many, many of these, sometimes as many as a couple of hundred, um, into a mini computer. I think the uh, these are set up for 16 each, but um, certainly some of the machines would run 64 terminals quite comfortably. Um, so that's Ooh. just doing its that's testing now, at the moment. So that's the, power, the uh, VT220 yeah. is yeah. on? That's cool. right. So that's ready to go. Right. So now we're going to switch on this, which is the 1173, and power that up. So the screen's just come up with testing in progress. So this is the BDP-11 doing its own self-tests. So what have we got here? So that's the that's the computer, the PDP-11 is there. Yep, that's a PDP-11 um, processor, twin floppy disk drives, and a hard drive, which is very similar to a, um, a SCSI drive that some people might be familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, then we've got tape drives. This is a reel-to-reel -reel tape drive, and these, which are removable pack hard drives, um, known as RLO2s. Cool. So, system's booting up at the minute. Okay, so it's asking us for us to put in a date, which today is 08-JUN-16. Happily, this machine has been patched for the year 2000, because being, oh, right. a, being a 16-bit machine, originally they uh, they would have suffered from the Y2K bug. Right. Okay, so that's right. up. So, so, well, now, so what, this is running, what, RSX? Is the this is running system? the RSX operating system. Right. Okay. Um, there were three main ones. There was RSX, um, Rustus, and RT11, and they had their own specialist uh, usage areas. Right. Okay, so just um, to put in some uh, some media, we'll start off with this, which is a half-inch mag tape. Um, we used to use these for Beautiful. daily backups and for offline storage of uh, of media. That's so it's a tape, just as you might be familiar with for. Mm -hmm cassettes or something like that, that just holds it and easily in place. We used to call that the slug. <laughs> that slides in here like this. Hurt that. And then Beautiful. we press the load button. Can we can we undo the door? I don't think it will let us when the no. Oh come you on. I want to see you things. You can't really see it behind that black <laughs> perspex. And that's great about this, is it automatically loads itself up. Right. So over here we've got another tape drive. Yeah, which that's is... right. That's a more traditional type right. of tape drive, um, where you put the, the tape on the top reel and wind it through yeah. between the heads to there, and you'd see that spinning around. You've got this one working this yet? Is, uh, this one isn't connected as yet. Oh. Um, that's another another job to get, <laughs> another okay. job yet to do. But that one's going to look far more impressive. Yes, they're uh, they're what people think of as being old-style yeah. computers with yeah. lots of tapes running around. So this is loading now. So I can't even get to see the tape in there. I'm trying to squeeze down the door just so we can see a little bit. But anyway, um, but that's now is that so that's loaded? Now loaded. Right, okay. Yeah. So we press the online, mm -hmm. and now that's ready to uh, uh, we can read and write. Um, so the from, that, from that tape, so right. if you wanted to write a backup to it or something, mm -hmm. um, we'd be able to do that. Cool. Right, so tell me about the uh, RLO2 drives, these bad boys down okay. here. Okay, so this is an RLO2 um, removable pack disk drive, um, and the way that you use it is with one of these, which is a removable disk pack. They were very popular back in the day. If you look inside there, you can actually see the disk platter yep. that the drive heads move in and out. And the way that you load it is like this. You pull this out of the slot, open the lid, and 
in here, you can see the drive mechanism. So you've got like these okay. bonnet catches here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> just, like, just like any car. And then just down here, you've got the read right head switch slide in and out. And you put the disc pack like this. Drop that in like that. Oh, so the lid goes on top, that's quite It does, just neat. a neat storage space. Because it's really important that you keep this very clean to prevent what was called a head crash. Uh -huh. Where you've got a bit of um, dust between, or dirt between the drive head and the disc cutter itself. So you press the load button. So that's spinning up the And that will, spin up, that will spin up the disc drive so that it's ready for use. Again, we can't see inside it, gutted. No, okay. no, so that, you know. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's now loaded that's now and ready to go. Now loaded and ready to use, yeah. Fantastic. So there you go. Beautiful PDV-8. 11. Um, so also around the back here. Look at all this. So this is, that's the back of the tape that's drive. The back of the reel-to-reel -reel tape drive. This the is the back, back of the processor the... unit there. Right, so okay. all these connections here, these are all... So each um, one of those will connect a user terminal, so typically you'd have six or seven user terminals and a printer connected to those RS-232 connectors. Right. So the, the, all the terminals are just RS-232? Yep, that's right. So things like a VT-100 or a VT-220. Mm-hmm. So this is the other machine. So we've actually got two machines here. Yeah, These two are two independent. Yeah, two independent machines. Mm. So one wasn't enough for us, right? Absolutely not. Brilliant. And there you go, PDP-11, I nearly said 8 earlier, PDP-11, fantastic. So we're going to have this all up and working and doing something yep. uh, on display soon at the museum, so come over and see it. But thank you very much Brian for your time and for getting all this thing working, brilliant very stuff. You're welcome. Thank you very much.